What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Layers of Fear. And now, last episode, I know I had some audio issues. I had my sound gain, or whatever the hell you call it, the uh, sound gate, that thing. Uh, a little too high, so when I started getting quieter, it didn't pick up my voice. So that hopefully has been corrected. I upped the gain in my mic a little bit. But hopefully, we'll be able to actually have all of my voice, whether it's a good thing or not. I'll leave that up to you. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, so last time, we melted a room. And got a vial of blood that we added to our little collection. And it gave us this weird looking, melting, decaying, scorpion looking thing. So, what we got before? Let's find out what else we got, shall we? Form emerges. All that. Oh, it opens that way. And that piano again. Would you stay open? Get out of there. Get out of here. All right. Okay, we got this way. That is okay. Not going that way. And not going that way. Great amount of options, isn't there? Nothing there. In here? Nope. Need brush and paint. Other random stuff. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Into the door we go. And, oh, great! The piano's back. That one here. I love the piano music, though. It's really, really nice and soothing. Why is it? Why is it chained up? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Nothing there. Kinda looks fine. Oh Jesus Christ! Okay, okay, I, okay. I won't touch you. I won't touch you. I'll leave you be. I'll let you do your thing. I won't do anything to you. I, you, you, you're, you're blocking my door. I can't get through if you're blocking my door. What the, oh, oh, there's another hallway. And a note. A note say. Uh, space for. About a boy who wakes up in a cave, he finds a mysterious note and a gun. He then journeys through various environments, woods, fields, rivers. Eventually he winds up in a small cabin, where it turns out this has all been a product of his subconscious, brought upon by a traumatic childhood memory. He killed a guy who had murdered his father. Okay. In the real world, he has been drooling in a loony bin this whole time. Get it? The twist is sort of gimmicky, but I think it works. Did you storyboard it for me? If you if you're interested, I'll send you the details right away. Frankly, I think you should take the job. It pays well, and it would take your mind off of well, you know, everything else. Please let me know as soon as possible. Thomas Cadwell. Thanks, Thomas. Appreciate you looking out for me, Thomas. Is that a door? Looks like a door. Oh, the music stopped. Eh? Eh? A little more? Oh god, what's in here? What's in here? It's... Nothing. More cabinets? Okay, last time I opened one of these cabinets, I got the shit scared on me from bottles. And now it's just books. Okay. I'll take books. Books are usually pretty quiet. Usually. How about you? Um... Those. Those are quiet too. I like that. Quiet is good. Quiet is good. What's in here? Dishes. No good. Nothing of help. Nothing of help. Alright. Um, nothing around here, I don't think. No? Okay. What about door number two? Oh. Big empty room. That's awkward. Imagine having a house so big that you can just have empty rooms. It'd be pretty nice. I, uh, just fill all my rooms with garbage and junk and- Oh! Creator's block. That seems accurate. I'm not going out that way. 
And it's not going out that way either. Or that way. Um. Oh, Jesus. Hi. Okay. I guess we're going that way. At where do I go that way? I don't understand what's going on. Oh God! Oh man! Oh the dolls! Don't start with the dolls already. Oh dear Jesus! I don't like you. Your your shadow is missing parts. I can't close the door. That's not fair. That's not fair. You're not. You gotta let me close the door away from the creepy dial. Oh Lord. Been playing for five minutes. I'm already about to have a heart attack here. Oh, that's so creepy. That shadow does not match that doll. And this is not a door. Okay. I don't. I don't want to go back out there. I don't want to go back out there. I really don't want to go back. <laughs> okay. I guess we're going back out here. What was that? Oh, there's oh, there's something hanging on it. I don't want to touch it. Don't. Uh, I don't want to get close. Is it gonna look at me? Yeah. I have a key. I have to have a key too. I've had to use a key before. All right, moving on. Is this a locked door? No. Alright, so where do I actually go? Oh. Hi. Um. What? Huh? I have no idea what just happened. Am I in that room I was looking at now? Oh, the chest needs a key. That makes more sense. June, don't forget. Well, apparently I forgot because I don't know what you're circling that for. Do I want to open this? Not really. Am I going to? Of course. May 23rd, how can two people who once loved each other so fully, so profoundly, drift so far apart? My husband barely speaks to me anymore. He just slithers in and out of his study, obsessively working on one failed painting after another. He won't even sleep with me anymore. Ooh, sucks. I can tell he's disgusted by me. The look he gave me the other day, a pathetic, hurtful look, a combination of shame, guilt, and repulsion, I have come to realize that I've become a monster in my husband's eyes. Feels like nothing a woman should ever experience. Still being the good wife that I am, I decided to realize my husband's fantasy. If he thinks I'm me a monster, I will sure as hell act the part. Oh boy, that don't sound good. That don't sound good at all. Right, nothing else in here, look at that. Onward and upward. Oh, Jesus! Oh, <laughs> you know, I I have played through this part. I don't remember any of this. This is bullcrap. I should at least have some little bit of warning in my head going, Hey, something happened here. Be on alert. Oh, Lord. All right, let's keep going. I have all the lights in this house. I haven't seen a light in a long time. Oh, oh, hey, wait, wait, hey, hey. Light, okay, that didn't do anything. Cool. Okay, books. A note. Uh, September 15th, more note today. Even worse than before. Sad part is, I agree with every word. Who's sending notes? Heard of him? 
him to hurt? Someone else to both of them? I don't know. Yeah, I'm stuck on the door, really? Stupid door. Wait, can I actually open this one normally, please? Yes, okay. Oh, hey. This place looks awfully familiar. That picture looks really creepy. Oh, oh, you know what? No, no, it doesn't. It's just a table with stuff on it. Never mind. Not so creepy. Okay. Oh, books. Yeah, I like books. Books. Books don't give me problems. Books block my doors. That's not necessarily a, necessarily a problem in this game. Can I turn that lamp on without getting the crap scared out of me? Yes, I can. Yay! I like light. Light is good. Light is my friend. I like lights. Much harder for things to hide when there's lights. Ooh, Dominus. I can't look at that note. Alright, so we're gonna go through door number one, or we're through door number two. Uh, I'm gonna take the door with the light first, actually, because that seems less worrisome. Okay, take that back. Balconies are quite worrisome. I don't... I'll come back to that, actually. Let's, let's see what's behind door number two real quick. And this is the only one with the doorknob on the right side. Oh god, I did open it. Okay. <laughs> it's just a stool. Okay, it just any oh there is writing on the walls. Blind skeletons. I don't ooh, blind fools. Oh no. Oh no. Cretans, simple ingrates. Simpletons. I don't know if I wanna be in here. I really don't know if I want to, I don't know if I want to, do I need to look, I'm going to have to look at that painting, aren't I? Oh boy, this is going to be bad, this is going to be really bad, it's going to be really, really bad. Oh, that's just fucking creepy. Nope, not getting anywhere near that thing. I'm going to pass on that. We're going to keep moving forward. Because that's a face that terrifies me to my very soul. And I guess we're going to the balcony. Almost certain death, I'm sure. Oh god, there's another doorway. There's something in there though. How do I get down there? Oh, down the steps. That makes sense. Can I actually open this door yet? I cannot. Uh, okay, I don't like steps as much as I don't like mirrors and dolls. Okay. This is just down there, right? There's nothing down here that was going to bother me. There's nothing down here that was going to hurt me, right? Right? Please tell me I'm right. Oh, I like lights. Yay, lights. That, nothing I can look at. No, you stay on. You go nowhere. <laughs> what are you? Can I turn you on? Yes. Yes. Lights. Lights everywhere. I love it. As I saw, is that that's where I saw the shiny thing, right up in there. So I gotta move this. I can't move this. 
Any notes I can read on the table? I don't play the notes, but not all I can read, apparently. Okay, let's push down through this door, because I can't get one upstairs. That's locked. This one opens inward. Good, good, I can do that and take a step back. Take in the ambiance. And that just got brighter. Or it, oh no, that's just shading. Never mind. Take it back. What? I have a phone? Where is said phone? Oh, no, no. Dear sir, if I am to be honest, I can't say your letter was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you had previously sought their advice in this matter, and while it is perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion, I would think 16 concurring opinions would be enough. 16? Oh, yeah, it would be enough. Uh... Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I have examined the case thoroughly, and I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. Oh, so you should burn. Ooh, that's interesting. What you refer to as a freakish grin or an unnerving yelp, though many would find such expressions hurtful, could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mentioned do not seem to be physiological, but rather purely psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress that is nothing to be ashamed of. As you, as your demand that we fix your wife, you have, you have to understand that we, what she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure. It is a long, arduous process that will require all of your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my con colleagues if you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program. Sincerely, Robert Richards, MD. Another fucking quack. Interesting. So somehow, his wife got burned. That's why she made the mention of he looks at her like he's a monster. That makes much more sense now. What the frack? Huh? Where's the voice? I think I'm crashing down right after I walk down past here, isn't it? Nope, maybe not. Oh, we're back here. Is it the same note? It is not the same note. Stuff all torn up. Okay. Bring, 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 bring. Oh. Um. Oh. Oh, that's a different perspective. Do I have to answer the phone? Apparently not, because I can't. I, I hear you ringing, I want to answer, but it won't let me. Not my fault. Round three. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay, I read that part. We're back here. And back here again. And here comes the phone. And here comes the ringing. I still can't answer. We go back around another time.
And the nerve's back. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try going this way. Where do I go backwards? Is it gonna have the phone come crashing down now? Yep! <laughs> I see your game! I see you! What was that? What? what? Hello? Yes, speak. Yes. What? what? What fire? Oh god. Is she. Which oh, fire at that gallo or whatever? Oh no. Okay. Now I'm starting to put the pieces together here. Now I'm starting to understand. Wait. Now which way do I go? Do I keep going this way? That was back into the library thing, right? Ooh, nope, indeed it isn't. Rustless memories. And more wasted wine. You know, you just don't appreciate things the way they should. Oh God! What was that? What were you? What just happened? Holy hell! <gasps> oh, please tell me I was a one and done thing. Oh, yep. Okay, good. Oh, you made a, quite a mess. Oh, j oh, that's... That's a trick. Is there a light switch? There is a light switch. That didn't sound like lights. Oh, hey. Everything's back. Okay. It wasn't the light switch, it was the right switch. Haha. <laughs> <clears throat> Ooh. Flapping horror. Be quiet. Constantly flapping. Eating other rats? Hey, if he's eating the other rats, then maybe he's on your side. You ever think of that? No, you only think about yourself. That... Did I close that like that? Oh boy, anything in the drawers? Mm, nope. I, you had your turn. Stay up there. And... nope. That is the only door that hasn't closed by itself in a very long time, and that worries me. Oh, long hallway. Oh, there's more deer. Every time there's the deer, something bad happens. What did I tell you? Deer, bad things happening. Um, that's not how curtains are supposed to work. Do, do I just have to keep going? I'm gonna get caught in this next. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, it pushed me right back. All right. Like, how far back did it push me? Right back to where I started. I have to keep on keeping. Oh, oh no. It's the shadow. Oh, the shadow. She doesn't look good. Is that she? Could be a he? Oh, oh, oh. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. And I'm back. 
and the deer's on the floor. And someone messed up the walls. I blame Bambi. Okay. More forward. Oh. Hope is the mind killer. Oh, lovely. And we have the wonderful little elevator again, which I loved so much the first time. Wait, is this, actually, is this actually the same elevator? Oh, oh boy. Hey, oh god. Oh no, we're going down now. Abandon hope while you can. I'm pretty sure I did that a long time ago. Any hope that I've had of keeping my pants clean while I played this game. They've been gone for a while now. No. Open. Thank you. In any case, as your lawyer, I advise you to refrain from any imprudent actions. In other words, don't do anything stupid. Good advice for anybody. We still have a chance of winning this, believe it or not. I've gotten clients out of deeper shit than this. Just don't make it any worse. Lay low for a while and let me appeal court order. The social worker definitely has it in for you. We can use that to our advantage. Portray you as a victim of the system. A husband in mourning. A momentary lapse of reason. An overzealous bureaucrat. Trust me, this is our best option. Considering what you've been through lately, I'd say we have a good 50-50 chance of a good outcome. But not if you keep trying to convince everyone that you've gone completely insane. No more outbursts, no more rambling, better yet, no public appearances whatsoever. You can still get your daw- Here's a daughter. So they had a daughter. Okay. That explains the creepy room from before. No to the left. And peek to the right. More glass. Nice empty room. Nice and quiet. Nothing behind door number one, right? Right? Just another creepy room. Have this little slowly turn. Check everything out. Okay. I don't like. Oh, there goes the door again. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Oh, this is the barrel. I thought I saw something else move down there and it scared the living piss out of me. Oh boy. I don't like those like close quarters that open inward. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is under control. We just got a little cramped core. Oh, hey, there's there is rats. They lied to me. I don't know how they'd ever find them in this place. Hey, wasn't I here before? I trust those floorboards either. Last time I was on anything even remotely around that, I fell through. Um. Oh geez, that's more rats. Yeah, you can see. There's a fancy sink. A fancy sink that. Oh, very much clogged. I know it's going down. It's going down. Okay. That's fascinating. Weird, but fascinating. 
boxes, more barrels. Getting very close to an open wall that I don't care for. Okay. And onward. That door there, that's all blocked off. I'm gonna be stuck going through that door. Or maybe not. Oh, oh I can pull the pallet down. Okay. Was that a good idea? Probably not. But there's another door. Oh, you never take the first option granted to you. So. Maybe we should go back to the first option. That's really not. I'm not feeling that. Mm -mm, nope. We'll go through this one. Oh, it's another bathroom. Alrighty, so we're gonna be going back through there anyways. But, but first, we're gonna check out this. What do we have here? Flashy flesh. The light switches is all broken down. And why is everything waving? Oh, there's another baby doll in the bathtub. Oh, lordy. That, what is that? Why do they attach things to dolls? Why do they do this to me? It's like they know I have a problem. Silent floaters. They clog the drains. Her in the water. No baths for me. Gross. Oh, okay, bye. Thanks for stopping by, I guess. Oh, the door closed. Or do I back into the door and close it by mistake? Seems like a possibility. Oh yeah, I left that open. I got really concerned for a second. Play switch. Okay, light switch doesn't do anything. And door is locked. Super. On the bright side, if I can't open the door, there's less chance that it's gotten to scare the crap out of me. I'll take that little piece of, uh, solace. Lock in. Lock in. That looks like it locks from the outside. Oh, didn't expect that to open so easy. I wasn't ready for that. Okay, okay there's a bug. No worries, just a bug. Ah, wait. Oh, so down is on. The other one was off. Okay. What is that? Coat hanger or something? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, oh okay. Oh. All right. Go in order? Uh, okay. This one is love them. Straight and narrow, straight and... No. Mm. Uh, all right. Back where we came from. That's not where we came from. That is not where I came from. 
And I don't like the ominous look of all the candles just lying in the hallway either. Ooh, 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 okay, oh, hi. Someone's been visiting the Forest Temple from Legend of Zelda. Ooh, that really messed with your eyes. Oh no, not the basement. Don't send me into the basement. Ooh, light. Alright, at least I'm not going down in the dark. I got that going for me. Okay, last time I was here, the really bad crap happened. Uh, I'm not ready for this. Could be something from the ceiling, could be something next to me. Oh, that's rotting away. Okay, spooky or not, that was a cool animation. No, not in there. Oh, there's the piano again. I'm not trusting that piano anymore. I feel like the piano has it out for me. Can't check any of that. Oh, there goes, oh, there goes Los. Okay, bye. Thanks for tidying up the place, I guess. Oh, there goes more. Oh, and more. What if I get close enough to let all those things dissolve? Do I get like special achievement or something? Or do I get death? I, mean, I guess that would be considered a special achievement of some sort, right? Wait, what's that sound? Oh, there's something over there. That does not make me feel all warm and fuzzy. Another table. That looks like a face in that right there. I don't think I should be walking over there. I'm not even gonna take that chance. Nope, no sir. I'll turn the water on. I can't see anything in the water, but I can turn the water on. Alright. Stop wasting water. Uh, I guess we gotta check out the piano again. I don't want to. Well, if I come between the piano and the, the creepy cubby over there, I'm going to take my chances at the piano. Okay, I think I made the wrong choice. Oh god. Apparently I played the song version of Wingardium Leviosa. I mean, that, that's rather pleasant. I mean, the things floating around are kind of worrisome, but... Okay, nope, nope. Not so pleasant, not so pleasant, not so pleasant. Excuse me. Do I, do I need to go back up? I don't think the furniture wants me here. Oh. 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 Sorry, sorry, box. Didn't mean to kick you. I think I need to go back upstairs. Oh, Ooh, okay. Oh. Where'd everything go? There's a light over there. 
Oh, there's a note. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. So, did he end up killing his wife and using her parts to make paint? Is that what happened here? Is that messed up? I think the only door was back upstairs. Hibble hobble. Yeah, and we're back here. Oh, it's all messed up in here. That, uh, the piano did a number. Alright, well, let's see what our next layer is. Shall we? I'm not ready for it. I'm not ready for it. I'm not ready for it. Okay, I have no way to describe what that is. But it looks pretty messed up. Much like the rest of this game is. But, hey, we got three out of six. Not too bad. Moving along nicely. Anyways, I'm going to leave this episode here. If you liked it, click that like button for me. Consider subscribing to see more. If there's any other games similar to this you think I would enjoy, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. Peace.